Welcome back to the build of the Borealis XL kayak from Pygmy Boats. Today's video should be a lot of fun as we finally see this ship taking shape. Our first step towards stitching our boat together begins with cutting and bending our tie wires. You're going to be making a lot of these, so find a way to work comfortably. Three rolls of wire come with this kit. By the end of this video, we'll have used two rolls as tie wire, so feel free to power through two rolls if it suits your fancy. Uh, I put together this setup to help me quickly cut the wire into three and one half inch segments. You're going to bend the wire over a one half inch piece of wood or uh, whatever you're working with to create a staple shape. These staples will be the tie wires to go through the holes we drilled in our wood in the last episode. As always, ensure you read through your instructions thoroughly and follow them to the letter. Our first step here is to wire our keel seam together. You'll begin with the interior of the boat of the side of the panels facing down and inserting your tie wires from the top. You'll need to elevate your piece in order to do this effectively, bending over the wire on the downside so it'll stay there when flipping the pieces back over. Once we've got our panels flipped over, we're going to go ahead and line them up in the center and then hand tighten our wires to lock them into place. To do this, first fold each end of the wire across the seam and twist it a couple times by hand. Then you're going to take a pair of pliers, grab the wire at the base, Pull up to remove any slack in the wire and twist the wire tight. Now if you've been following the directions in the book, you should have drawn some lines on your number one and number four panels for the temporary frame placement. We're going to utilize those now. You're going to begin by drilling a hole in the center frame about one and a half inch above the keel seam. Align the frame on the lines you drew 19 inches after the butt seam. Now drill a hole through the left keel panel which is one half inch from the keel line and one quarter inch from the frame on the bow side of the frame. Drill another hole that is on the right keel panel that is one half inch from the keel line and one quarter inch from the frame on the stern side of the frame. Insert an inward pointing wire up through these holes, then through the frame and snugly twist the wire. The frame may be floppy and won't fall over. Don't worry, uh, you'll have a wired in and a couple more panels in place and it'll stand up fine then. Now you're going to go to the bow end of the two keel panels and twist the ends up vertically together. Align the ends and clamp them together with a quick grip bar clamp or any other clamp that can be operated with one hand. Insert the wires at the ends from the outside and bend them over the keel line and twist them snugly. Do this for the entire 14 inch section where you have holes drilled every 2 inches. All of these wires will have the twist facing out. After that, you're going to remove the quick grip clamp. Make sure that you have not over tightened the wires so that a pinched appearance remains at the end of the keel panel. Repeat this process on both sides. Once you have the ends of your number one panels tied together, it's time to begin putting the remainder of your panels onto the boat, starting with the number two panel. You can see here that I'm going to grab the number two panel, I'm going to line it up with my number one panels uh, at the center seams. At that point in time, I'm going to drill holes on the number two panel interior side that match the top of the number one panel holes so I can tie these together. After that, you're going to begin tying the rest of your panels on in the same fashion. You're now ready to wire in your center temporary frame. 
You will wire the whole panels to the temporary frame in the same way you wired the keel seam. First, align the top of the frame to the pencil lines on the top of the number 4 panel. Then drill holes to the wire to wire the top of the frame to the hole at the point one half inch down from the shear. Insert the separate wire and twist loosely on both sides of the hole to hold the frame in a vertical position. Next, at each of the chine seams, drill holes and insert wire through the frame and hole and twist the wire across the seam to pull both hole panels up snug against the frame at each chine. Once the frame is snugly wired in place, look at the top of the frame on each side. If it's a little higher on one side than the other, tap in that corner with a hammer or a chunk of 2x4 or just force it down until the frame is centered. Now twist all your frame wires tight with a pair of pliers. You're going to do the same thing with the bow and stern temporary frames. Aligning the bow frame 24 and 1 half inches in front of the center butt seam and the stern frame 59 inches aft of the butt seam. Position the bow frame aft of the pencil line and stern frame forward of the line and wire them in place just as you did the center frame. On the keel seam, twist the wire ends on the inside of the hole so that the keel line can lie flat on the work surface. At all the other seams, twist the wire so that it can be on either the inside or the outside of the hole. Now you're going to tighten the whole wires which point inward. Using pliers, tighten all of the wires which point inward. To tighten them just as before, grab the wire at the base of it and twist it with pliers. Pull up with a slight amount of pressure and twist at the bottom of the wire. Now you have something that vaguely resembles a boat. And you should feel good about that. Um, at this point in time, in our next episode, we are going to get the center keel line of the boat glued from the inside uh, and then start putting the top side of our boat on. So we'll see you all next time in that episode.